Last week we had our fourth Mustang Musings Assembly. Let's get a recap. Last week we had our final start of the year Mustang Musings Assembly. We discussed what it means to be STEM crazy in the bathroom. We are curious when we check how we look, we are respectful when we keep our hands, feet, and other objects to ourselves, when we keep the bathrooms clean, and when we use appropriate language and volume. We are accountable when we go, flush, wash, and leave. Those are really the only four things that should be done in the bathroom. We also make sure to take care of school property while in the bathroom. We show zero quit when we return to class quickly. Mr. Edwards visited with us for a few moments to give us some guidelines about our Chromebooks. We need to remember to carry our Chromebooks with two hands. Teachers are in charge of when it is appropriate to use the Chromebooks. Please make sure to never throw or slide a Chromebook. Be very careful with the screen of your Chromebook. If you leave things inside your Chromebook, it will crack the screen. Please use your Chromebook case to store the Chromebook, the plug, the headphones, and nothing more. Chromebooks should stay at school and be stored in the students' lockers overnight. Please do not remove any of the keys or try to access the inside of the computer. Do not remove any of the labels or barcodes from your Chromebook. Be careful to not leave your Chromebook in any unsecured location, including an unlocked or a friend's locker. We do not use our Chromebook for video games or for anything else that is not directly related to the classroom lesson. Please do not loan your Chromebook to anyone else and do not share passwords or usernames. Above all, take good care of your Chromebook, the case, and the accessories. They cost $200 each, and you are responsible to pay for them if they are lost or damaged. We also took some time to recognize the first Mustangs of the Month of this school year. Congratulations to these individuals. The Mustangs of the Month received a certificate, a free meal at Cafe Rio, a button for their lanyard, and 100 crazy points each. We look forward to recognizing other great Mustangs throughout the year. We took a few moments to discuss opportunity costs. We recognize that every decision we make ends up closing some other doors. So it is very important to know what we want in the long term and carefully make sure we do not close any of the doors needed to get there in the short term. Seventh grade earned 100 crazy points from this discussion. Nice work, Adeline. We briefly discussed the Safe UT app and we will share an informational video about that immediately following this recap. That's it. Our next Mustang Musings Assembly will be on Thursday, October 31st. School can be tough, but beyond the classroom, sometimes we deal with things that make us feel uncomfortable or even unsafe. Things like bullying, fighting, or a friend that is feeling especially sad and acting strangely. To help protect yourself and your friends, it's important to tell the right people about these situations in a way that you can remain completely anonymous. Here's how. This is the Safe UT app. It's available on the App Store and on Google Play. Or there's a button on your school's website. With the Safe UT app, you can send an anonymous tip about bullying, cyberbullying, violence, harassment, concerns about a friend, or anything else that makes you feel uncomfortable. To send a tip, simply tap the Submit a Tip button. Choose your location and the category that matches your tip, and provide as much detail as possible in the tip form. Remember, you can always remain anonymous. After you're done, hit Submit, which will send your tip to people who can help. You can also chat directly with a caring crisis counselor, who will listen and talk with you about anything you're struggling with. If you don't have a smartphone or can't get to a computer, you can send anonymous tips or talk to counselors on the district safety hotline. You can call 801-481-7199 or text 801-664-2929. Save these numbers or keep them in a place where you can easily find them. Be sure to always dial 911 for emergencies.